Hi guys. My name is Eduardo Blood Red. Too late. This is for you. Don't you like garlic? I'll be right back, Lisa. Oh my god, the boy is biting me. Herbert, please help me. I really need to warn Lisa. I'm trying to protect you. That between us is over. Come Eduardo we go. Does anyone know our secret? Yes a boy from my school. He must conceal. But we can't just kill him. Yes, we must. He knows our secret Eduardo. Is there no other way? No, the boy is a danger to all of us. It's all your fault. How could that happen? I'm sorry, Dad. When this is over, you'll get 10 years of house arrest. Honey, don't be so hard on him now. He didn't want that. Not too hard. I'm still too nice. Don't you understand what he's done? But it was unintentional. I don't care. He's putting our entire family in danger. Do you know what normal people do to us? You're going to take care of the boy Eduardo. What me? Yes, that is your punishment. But make it quick and painless. He doesn't have to suffer unnecessarily. Okay, Dad. Now go to your room. And think about what you've done wrong. How are you, Eduardo? Well, it goes like this. And you? What is going on? Oh, nothing. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, you can tell me. I had a bit of stress with my parents. With your dad or mom? With my dad. He wants me to do something, but I don't want to. Then don't do it. Listen to your heart. I have to do it, Lisa. It doesn't work on Drace. Okay, then just do it. I'm sure it's not that bad. Yes, hopefully. Will I see you at school tomorrow? Of course. We can have ice cream after class. Maybe that will cheer you up again.
Yes, good idea. Thanks for the help. You are the best. Nothing to thank. Good night, Eduardo. Good night, Lisa. I can't believe it. Lisa has fallen in love with a vampire. The guy is really dangerous. I have to get rid of him somehow. But how should I do that? She hates me right now. She still thinks I'm jealous. I really need to come up with something. Before Lisa gets hurt. Good morning, Eduardo. Hi, Dad. What is your plan? Which plan do you mean? Well, the plan for the boy in your school? I'm still thinking about how to do it. Stop delaying it, Eduardo. The sooner you take care of him, the better. Yes, I know, Dad. Then why don't you do it? I don't want. You brought this problem to us, Eduardo. You will be the one to make it disappear. Okay, I'll take care of it. I want you to do this today, you understand? What today? Yes, it must be today. Before the boy tells anyone else. Okay, I'll take care of it after school. Don't disappoint me. Sarah, I really need your help. Yes, Marcus. It's about Lisa. She is in great danger. Why that? This new tip, Eduardo. He is a vampire. He is what? A vampire. A bloodsucker. Is that supposed to be a joke? No. Do you see me laughing? I'm dead serious. What makes you think that? I saw him kill two people. Yes, exactly, and you are a werewolf. I'm not joking, Sarah. The guy is dangerous. And Lisa is spending time with him. I think you should see a doctor, Marcus. I'm telling you the truth. Why doesn't anyone believe me? I'll see you later, Dracula. Hey, Eduardo. Has the problem with your parents been resolved? Yes, I know what I have to do now. Thanks again for your help, Lisa.
No problem. That's what friends are for. What do you want here, Marcus? Didn't you understand me the last time? I'm going to protect you, Lisa. Whether you want it or not. Marcus, I need to talk to you urgently. I have something to say too. But I'll let my fists do the talking. What do you mean by that? You and me after school. One versus one. We'll sort this out once and for all. I don't think that's a good idea. That was no question. Why are you all standing around? Class is about to start. Sit down. You can chat later. We'll meet in the park next to school after class. Do you want to do your homework together? Yes, exactly, Mr. Coons. We'll do our homework together. Very good. I've always been a fan of study groups. Why is he taking so long? Or is he too afraid of me? You don't have to do that, Marcus. I know what you've done, Eduardo. I don't want to hurt you. Just don't tell anyone about it. No one needs to know about it from me. Really? Can you keep the secret? Yes, but that comes at a price. What do you want? Stay away from Lisa. Are you crazy? I love Lisa. You're just putting her at risk for no reason. We both know that. There's no way I'm just giving up on Lisa. You are out of your mind. Oh yes? Good, then I'll tell everyone what you really are. Don't you dare. But everyone will know. Till the whole city knows. No one will believe you, Marcus. I'll prove it to them. All right, whatever you want. I just wanted to protect you. But you do not deserve it any other way. Huh, what do you mean? I'll see you later. You were right, Dad. The boy must go. I've understood it now. Very good, Eduardo. Take care of it tonight. Do you need anything else? No, I don't think so. I'm doing it at his house. Don't get caught. We don't need any more witnesses. Don't worry. 
I'll be careful. I'm making it look like an accident. Very well, then no one suspects anything. I'll get back to you when it's over. Okay, I'll see you later. I need to prepare for the fight with Eduardo. I don't know much about vampires yet. It seems he can turn into a bat. I need to find out more about him. It says vampires are stronger and faster. So normal people don't have a chance against a vampire. Unless you're really well prepared. Things vampires don't like, that sounds good. In addition, vampires don't like strong light. Good thing I bought a new flashlight. I'm going to go downstairs and eat lots of garlic. Eduardo will be surprised. This time he messed with the wrong guy. How much of it should I eat? I think it is best to eat as much as possible. Oh, I just eat the whole thing. What can go wrong? I ate the whole thing. That should be enough. Marcus, what are you still doing in the kitchen? I just wanted to grab a snack, Dad. Okay, and why does the whole apartment smell like garlic? I put a little too much of it in my food. Okay, go to bed now, please. You've got class tomorrow morning. Okay, Dad, I'm going to my room. This is Marcus's house. I'm going to make it quick and painless. Either I sneak in, or I fly through the window. Dad said no one should see me. It's best if I fly through the window. Hi Marcus, where are you? I can't see him. Are you under the bed, Marcus? Get out of your hiding place. It's me, Eduardo. I just want to talk to you for a minute. He's really not here. Maybe he's in the living room. Marcus, I am he, Eduardo. I need your help for a minute, please. Where are you? Eduardo, what are you doing in my house? Hi, Marcus. Good to see you. How did you get in here? Is anyone still home? You haven't answered my question. How did you get in here? The door was open. No, she wasn't. 
What do you want here? It won't hurt, Marcus. I promise you. What won't hurt? I knew you were a vampire. Don't worry. I'll take care of Lisa. When you are no longer around. What is that supposed to mean? Goodbye, Marcus. <coughs> Bay, why do you taste like garlic? I'm prepared for anything, Eduardo. You have no chance against me. How did you know I don't like garlic? I know a lot more. Ah, oh, that hurts. Please stop that. Get out of here. And don't ever come back. What don't vampires like? A. Celery. B. Spaghetti. C. Garlic. Write a comment.